You've seen me make a few items in the Emerald Air Fryer so far. We made beef burgers, fried fish, a couple others. I can't tell you how good fried cauliflower is in the Emerald. It's, uh, it, it's, it becomes like candy, it's addictive, it tastes so good, and it's actually healthy for you. I make it with very little uh, oil, I'll get into that in a second, but cauliflower is very high in vitamin C. I use, um, I start off with frozen, I've actually, um, I've let this thaw a bit, but normally it's right out of the freezer. I do that just simply because it's easier to work with. It's easier than washing fresh cauliflower and um, you know cutting it up. This is comes in you know chopped up already. It's all washed. Uh, very easy to use. Still retains the vitamins. You can see right there, high in vitamin C. So it tastes good and it's healthy. Um, I'm going to show you really quickly how I make it. It's the, the preparation is, is just like <laughs> literally minutes. Um, it involves. Uh, you know, heating it up in the microwave. I put it in for about 10 minutes where it really um, it cooks up, it gets, uh, lets off some steam, and um, it becomes really soft. You could theoretically eat it right out of the oven, out of the microwave, but um, I fry it up in the air fryer, and uh, again, it's just delicious. Now, uh, we'll get back to this in a second, but I use avocado oil. You saw in some of the other um, videos, you know, when you're not, uh, a lot of times I use the uh, you know, the, the spray for letting, you know, uh, stuff adhere to the food, you know, any kind of breadcrumb, stuff like that. And in those cases where the breadcrumbs overpowers or the chicken itself overpowers or the fish, it doesn't really matter what you're using. But on fresh vegetables, um, I like to use avocado oil. It, um, for two reasons. Number one, this happens to not have any, you know, um, what they call, uh, ex, ex, uh, <laughs> what was the right word here? Expellent uh, to propel the, the spray so it's all clean whereas this has phosphated mono and diglycerides water or whatever uh, and propellant to dispense the spray this is literally just pure refined avocado oil and uh, the other thing about avocado oil I've mentioned this in other videos is it's got a very high smoke point 450 degrees so um, we've covered smoking uh, for other reasons about the Emerald Air Fire in an earlier video if you haven't seen it check it out it's worthwhile uh, but this is just yet another way to avoid any kind of smoking in your emerald. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave for 10 minutes. We'll come back and uh, we'll get the air fryer going. Well, first we'll prep, then we'll get the air fryer going. Okay, so this is hot out of the microwave. Uh, for It'll just vary depending on your size of your microwave and the uh, you know the power. Uh, for me, it was about 10 minutes. For you, it could be more, it could be less. Just, you know, trial and error. Uh, but when they come out, you know, it'll be soft. Just... As you can see, I mean, you could literally eat it if you wanted to. Uh, if you have any extra, a lot of the water, the moisture will uh, steam off. If you have any extra, you can either use a colander or try to tip it out. But um, just the less oil, oh, the less water, the better, so it uh, uh, doesn't dilute the, uh, the the oil. And with that said, let's uh, start the spraying. Just watch how easily this uh, sprays out, even without the propellant. So give it a good spray, you know, toss it. I'm gonna use a fork and I'm gonna spray a little bit more. Um, some people like to use salt and pepper, a little extra flavor. I like it just as is. Now, when it comes to the uh, air fryers, Emerald Air Fryer, we know that uh, the more oil, the better, uh, the, <laughs> the more crispy. But the trade-off is that uh, it's obviously a little bit less healthy the more oil you're using. So in this case, you don't really need to use much, which is a good thing, and uh, we should still get crispy. All right, let's move on to the, uh, actually, let's do the transfer now. I'm going to put this in the fry basket. Using this bowl to raise it up so that it doesn't get on the uh, counter. And we don't even have to bother oiling up the basket because the cauliflower itself is oiled up and so therefore it should not stick to the to the basket. Alright, one more spray for measure, and that's it. Okay, so this is going to go into the regular fry uh, level, and um, you may have noticed the foil on the bottom. Actually, on this level, I've got a baking sheet in here, baking tray, foil. I got foil in the drip tray. Uh, you can learn more about using foil. Uh, my previous two videos, in fact, um, you can even look at the comments. It's probably even the best area to look. Um, I've explained it in detail, how to use it, why to use it um, at length. Um, 
but after this, this is just one more demo where I used it successfully without the of any overheating, no issues, uh, but that's for another day. Um, I want to show you the settings here. If you don't change your Emerald, uh, if you've never adjusted it, right now I've got it on air fry, it's blinking, it'll default to 400 degrees. For this, for this operation, we're going to use 350 degrees. I'm going to set it for 40 minutes, may or may not need that much. Actually, I'll put 45 just in case and uh, set it and forget it. We will check in in a little bit. Sorry. And uh, just to see how it's going. Something I've pointed out a couple times um, just to note when you're in the air fry mode, only the bottom and the top coil don't work when it's actually uh, cooking the food. The old top and the bottom coil only work to preheat the oven. When it's in air fry mode, it's only the, the coil on the side, the right hand side, uh, that works with the fan. A little tidbit there. Still got a little steam coming off the cauliflower, but uh, let's check back in 20 minutes and we'll go from there. So we're just about, uh, what, 20, 20 minutes in and uh, we're starting to get a little brown on the edges. I'll give you a quick peek inside. I know it's loud. It looks darker than it is. It's not burnt, I promise you that. But what I'm going to do is just move these around so it's not just the tops I promise you that's not burned it's a nice brown crisp but the reason I think that the oops, I think the left side does get uh, crispier faster uh, because you have the hot air blowing from the right side hits the wall and bounces back so they're almost getting like a double heat versus the ones in the middle. I really just can't tell you how good these taste. It's, uh, it's hard to put a word. It's hard to believe that it comes from a vegetable but I promise you uh, between the crispiness the oil is just it's wonderful. So we're just shy of 30 minutes and I'm gonna shut it off here. Give you a quick peek inside. I'm gonna pull that out. By the way and that's why you want that little tray there to catch all that but look at that and uh, I know it looks dark but when I pull it out you're gonna see that's not burnt it's just a nice crisp and uh, just beautiful to eat so check this out uh, up close I know this looks don't want that this uh, up close you can see and against the light not burnt at all you can hear the crisp Absolutely delicious. Let me get this out onto a plate for you. Just see what the beauty of these. <coughs> Wish I could describe the taste even better, but um, it's just amazing. It's addictive. It's better than like eating popcorn. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It becomes sweet. Um, it melts in your mouth got the crunch it's very satisfying once you start eating these you can't put them down they're absolutely delicious they taste like candy they're addictive um, nothing more to say just go get yourself some and uh, enjoy get in on that. there it is in the light and again it's a, a nice brown it's hard to tell I'm in the shadow but uh, this is just delicious look at that And there's a crunch for you. Anyway, I do hope you try this. If you do, or if you're thinking about it and you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me. Just like the guy in the pillow commercial says, I guarantee you're going to love it.